Hi, welcome to the clubhouse. My name is Alice and I'm so glad you could join us. In the last couple of videos, we've been exploring what you can do with those t-shirts that you loved but just can't wear anymore. Whether that's because of the belly or the boobs, or maybe just because you feel weird wearing a statement tee to dinner with the in-laws. We all have those tees that were something precious in the old days. And those old classics totally deserve to be more than a stop on your stroll down memory lane. If you're not as sentimental as all that, these techniques we've been exploring will at the very least make you the coolest shopper in the checkout lane. Paper or plastic? Nah, I'm cool. I got this Iggy Pop Live in Memphis Tour t-shirt bag. On second thought, maybe don't be so extra and just say I brought my own. Be so extra. I heard Alexis Rose say that on Schitt's Creek and it really stuck with me. I miss being around the teenagers that came to shop in our Summer Avenue store. They used to keep me hip to the lingo. I mean, not that they gave me lessons or anything. I could just hear them talking. Now I have to rely on Frank, and all his jokes have the same punchline. Woof. I mean, it was funny the first time, but dang. Dang indeed. Dang, I've been rambling a bit. We're here to make stuff, so let's get to the making. Now I love to sew and have been using a sewing machine since I was seven. My mom taught me how to sew on her Singer treadle machine in a little house on a prairie. But seriously, y'all, it was a great machine to learn on because it only went as fast as you pedaled with your feet. That's right, y'all. We're talking full manual. Or would that be full pedual? Either way, with that machine, it felt like I didn't have to worry about sewing through my fingers. But woe to she who pedals too slow. This machine could go backwards instead of forwards and could quickly take off in that direction if you were not paying attention. That was actually its only bell and whistle, the ability to stitch backwards as well as forwards. But there I go again, off on a ramble. And let's stop talking about sewing machines because this video is all about no sew bags. The only kind of machine you're gonna to need today is a pair of sharp scissors. Over the last 15 years, I've spent in excess of 35,000 hours and over $450,000 to discover the most innovative techniques in no sew bags. Or maybe I watched a few YouTube videos and borrowed some ideas from here and there. Either way, I've got some great techniques for making no-sew DIY grocery lugging totes, and I'm super excited to show them to you. All right, so we've already established that you'll need some scissors, but here's what else you're going to need. T-shirt, safety pin, ropes, ribbons, yarns, oh my. Now for my first trick, I'll need a volunteer from the audience. Ah, boho chic. Yes, you, sir. Aren't you cute? Isn't he cute, y'all? This is a tech. This technique makes a bag with fringe. Very boho chic, y'all. Is that still a thing, Frank? Frank, do you know if people still? Frank? Well, anyway, this technique is easy enough for smaller fingers to do if you're entertaining those wee beasties at home. So step one, we're gonna cut off the sleeves and the collar of our shirt to make the straps. For a tote, I like to leave the straps wider than I would for a tank top. You can reference our t-shirt into tank tops video for more details on this step. So we fold it in half and I'm snipping both of those sleeves off at one time, like so. And now we're gonna do that collar All right, so for added strength when you're carrying your bag, you can fold these straps in half, like so, matching up that seam, and hand stitch a little bit just right along this seam here. Is that close enough for you? So take a couple little stitches here with some embroidery thread and a needle, and that'll really strengthen your seam. We're also going to cut the bottom hem off of this T. So I'm going to quick make sure that's aligned right so I get a nice straight cut. And I'm going to take that bottom hem off that has the stitching. So now you have two choices to make. The first is about the fringe. If you don't want your fringe to show because you're not boho or chic, turn your shirt inside out before you start this next step. 
Now the fringe will be on the inside of the bag, but you'll still see your print. I mentioned in our last tote bag video about the orientation of the bag. This is your second choice. If you want a bag that forms better to your body, I recommend folding it in half and matching the straps opening and the side seam. While you can't see the print in full while you're carrying it, this makes for a more comfortable bag to carry because it will sit flat against your body. All right, so we've got that lined up. Now we're gonna cut slits along the bottom of our shirt. We want them to be about two inches long and about three quarters of an inch wide. If your shirt is really big, you may want to take a little bit more off the bottom when you cut that hem or cut your fringe longer. Almost got that lined up, all right. So I've matched the side seam here and I'm just gonna start cutting that fringe. Now you can do this with a ruler if you want. I'm just eyeballing it. So you're gonna continue to do this all the way along the shirt. Next, we're gonna tie these fringe pairs in overhand knots. This is the first step in tying your shoes, and you're gonna do it twice for each pair of fringe strips. So once, and pull it tight, and then twice. Now I'm pulling these a little before I tie them. The knit fabric will stretch a little and then curl. Knit fabric is great for no-sew or low-sew projects because it doesn't fray or unravel as you wash and use it. I'm tying these knots nice and tight as we work our way across the shirt. The bottom will start to bunch a little and surprisingly, there are no gaps for things to fall out of the bottom. Gotta make sure you grab the right strips to tie. So again, pull and tie in a knot. And I'm pulling tight to make sure I'm getting the top of that fringe. The knot is at the top of that fringe. And you can see those are starting to curl and look real cute. All right. Now, obviously, you would do across your whole bag, across the whole length. But what you end up with is this really awesome fringed hem at the bottom. And surprisingly, there are no holes or gaps for things to fall through. Funny. <laughs> that looks pretty awesome. All right, so for our next tote style, you're gonna wanna use a smaller shirt. Mine is a unisex small. I probably wouldn't use much bigger than a medium because we're not going to be able to remove any length for this method. And remember, we talked before that knit fabric is real stretchy and these totes can get huge and floppy when full of heavy stuff. All right, so let's grab a new t-shirt. We're gonna cut the sleeves and the collar off to make our straps, just as in previous tote bags. So let me do that real quick. And again, you can take a little stitch along that strap on the shoulder for added strength. I think that's a good idea especially if you're gonna be carrying your groceries further than just to your car. All right, so when you look at your t-shirt, you'll notice that the existing hem here 
is actually a tube. And you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna use it to insert a drawstring. Clever, right? So I'm gonna make a careful little snip in the side seam here so that I can get the drawstring in. And I'm gonna make another on the other side for my string to exit. All right, you can use all sorts of things for your drawstring ribbon, yarn, and you know what? Even the hem we cut off from our fringe bag. So I'm actually gonna use that. I'm going to cut it in half. I'm just gonna take out that center seam. It's a little bit lumpy, and I think it'll be tough to get through. I'm going to pull it to kind of stretch it. You're gonna take your safety pin and you're gonna insert it into the end of your yarn here. And I'm gonna actually go through a couple of times through that fabric so that it doesn't pull through. So now find that little hole you made, slip your safety pin in. And I don't know if you've ever done this when you've lost the string to a hoodie, but I'm just gonna slide it through. I'm using the safety pin is right here and I'm using that as a hard edge to push against, pulling it through and then you can pull and slide all at once. Watch out when you get to the end though that you don't lose all of your tie. Oh, and now I'm coming to the next seam. I'm gonna pop that safety pin out. It's a little tricky right there because the there's some extra fabric from the hem to get past. There we go. All right, so I did try this where I just used one string to go through the whole tube and tied one knot, which was a little bit faster, but it left um, a hole in the bottom about the size of a tangerine. So discovered using two strings and tying leaves you with less of a hole for things to fall out. All right, so we're just gonna keep pulling that through. It was a little tricky to start. There we go. And again, just sliding along that pin. Sliding it along the pin and then pulling through. And again, you can use whatever you like, but I've been cutting up all these t-shirts, so it seemed awesome to use what I already had. So I'm gonna take that pin out, and now I've got my drawstring is through both sides, and I'm just gonna grab the one. I'm gonna pull it nice and tight so that it's as bunched up as I can possibly get it. And then I'm gonna tie it in an overhand knot. Once, and then twice, so that should be secure. I'm gonna do the same on the other side, pulling it nice and tight. You just wanna make sure that that t-shirt hem is as bunched up as possible before you tie your drawstring. Tie it once and then twice, like so. And then you can trim these. And now we have two little holes, but they're not big enough for anything to get out of. And look what a clever little bag that is. And that's a bag if I've ever seen one. And I've seen a few bags in my day. Dang, that was inappropriate in just about any context. Oh well, this is kindergarten for grown folks after all. We can still have fun, right? I think I can hear your giggles. Well, as for my research, that's all the latest on no sew t-shirt technology. It's a great simple magic trick making t-shirt tote bags and knowing how to do it without any stitching will thrill and amaze your friends and family. Y'all, seriously. 
Michael has been on the edge of his seat this whole time. Now, we sure do appreciate all of you taking the time to hang out and get creative with us. We really love to see what you do with these techniques we share, so be sure to tag us on social media. And while you're here, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTubes. If you hit the bell icon, YouTube will even tell you when we have a new video. Also, check out the description below for a link to our video on sewn t-shirt totes. It's got kind of a pep talk on sewing machines, and they really are the best, y'all. All right, this is Alice, signing off from our Summer Avenue Clubhouse. See you soon!